In this video tutorial, I shall demonstrate how to create internet toolbars. You will need Internet Explorer or Firefox, a website or blog, and creativity. First start by opening up Firefox or Internet Explorer and navigating to conduit.com. Then click Get Started Now and fill out the required information. Once you are finished filling out all of your information, scroll down, agree to the license agreement, put in the characters in the picture, and click Get Started. Then exit out of the windows and select the add your logo icon that's on the toolbar and click edit. Change what's on there to what you want it to be. For this, this example, I'll add the title of my website, one of them. I'll change the logo to blue because I like blue and I can optionally add a logo image file and clicking on it you can bring it to your website and then click save and it will automatically update your toolbar. There are many more stuff that you can add. For this example I will add a message box which is basically an RSS feed. It's very cool because you can uh, post messages on it and people who are running your toolbar can get messages simultaneously. So it's just like uh, changing the logo you can add a name. You can, this time you can set a refresh, uh, refresh frequency and you can change your user options. I chose so that users can't reply to what I post because I don't want any weird messages on there. And what's cool about uh, Conduit is that it also supports Twitter. So I'm going to add a Twitter reader and I'm just going to select my Twitter feed. Note that when it says add a Twitter username, you cannot use your full name as the mistake I made right here will demonstrate, and that you have to use your Twitter username. And sometimes searching for your Twitter page will fail on this. And in the other section there's popular Twitters where you can add the popular uh, Twitter feeds automatically without having to search them. After you're done, scroll down and click save and it will also semi um, add that to your toolbar. And there's many more stuff that you can add. But once you're done, we're going to download this and install it to our browser. So copy the link that's provided, paste it, and then select free download. Agree to the required permissions that the browser requests, and then click install. The process may be different depending on the browser. Uh, sometimes it will ask you to restart. And you'll get some notes uh, saying that it was installed. And here is the sample toolbar I created. Um, I'm showing off the one I created for my Viola Rocks website. I added three websites, which are the three that I'm working on. As you see, the RSS uh, feed is functional. Even though I haven't added anything, you can do that at your own time. And also my Twitter feed is functional. And there are a lot of other stuff that you can add. So be sure to check out the extra features. Some things that you may want to know while creating your toolbar, there are over 1,000 controls that you can use. There are special ads and banners that you can put for your toolbar on your website advertising it. There's a Conduit reward program that you might want to check out. There's also a cool contest held by Conduit for creating the most fancy creative toolbar, which have cash prizes. And that's it for this tutorial. Free feel, feel free to download my toolbar. And if you have any questions, give me an email at admin at thehackersjournal.tk.